Welcome to the web tutorial NHATS Design Basics. This tutorial will cover frequently asked questions on design basics of NHATS. First, let's go over what you can expect to learn. We will start with an overview of the design of NHATS, followed by a discussion of generalizability of the NHATS samples to study late life trends and trajectories. Let's start with the design of NHATS. NHATS samples participants from the Medicare enrollment file. The vast majority of older adults in the U.S., approximately 96 to 97 percent, are enrolled in Medicare. Older adults not enrolled in Medicare include those who opt to stay on private insurance for some period after age 65, those who delay enrolling, and those who are ineligible, for example, older adults who immigrated to the U.S. after age 65. For cost reasons, the sampling frame was further limited to older adults living in the 48 contiguous states, which excludes enrollees in Alaska, Hawaii, and U.S. territories such as Puerto Rico. NHATS uses a stratified three-stage sample design. The primary sampling units, or PSUs, are individual counties or groups of counties. PSUs were sampled from strata that were created based on region of the country and variables reflecting demographic composition. Within sampled PSUs, the secondary sampling units, or SSUs, zip codes or clusters of zip codes, were then sampled. Within sampled SSUs, Medicare beneficiaries who are ages 65 and older were sampled, with oversamples of older age groups and black individuals. In NHATS, the probabilities of being selected from the frame differ by age and race. NHATS oversamples older age groups with the goal of having roughly equivalent sample sizes across age groups. Black, non-Hispanic individuals also have a higher probability of selection relative to the representation in the national population. Cluster sampling reduces the costs and increases the feasibility of in-person data collection on a national scale. Oversampling increases sample sizes for some groups, for instance older age groups and black individuals, so that comparisons by age and race can be made. Analyses using NHATS need to take into account these complex survey design features or estimates will be biased. Next, let's talk about generalizability of the data. NHATS is designed to be nationally representative of persons ages 65 and older in the U.S. NHATS can be used to assess both population level trends using repeated cross-sectional samples and to assess trajectories, that is, changes within individuals, by following one or more cohorts. Each round or year of NHATS is designed to be representative of the population ages 65 and older in select years. Note that the lower bound of the age range represented increases over time until the sample is replenished. So for example, in round one, the sample represents persons ages 65 and older, whereas in round two, the lower bound is now 66, in round three, the lower bound moves to age 67, and so on. However, in round five, when the sample is replenished, NHATS once again represents persons ages 65 and older, then in round six, ages 66 and older, and so on until the next replenishment. This design can be used to examine trends, for example, among the population ages 70 and older. NHATS samples overlapping cohorts of individuals ages 65 and older enrolled in Medicare. The 2011 cohort represents Medicare enrollees ages 65 and older as of September 30, 2010. The 2015 cohort represents enrollees ages 65 and older as of September 30, 2014. Here, we show the NHATS sample by round with the cohorts clearly designated. The 2011 cohort is in blue. Last month of life interviews for decedents that flow from the 2011 cohort are shown in light blue. The 2011 cohort continues to be followed after the samples replenished in 2015. The new cases sampled in 2015, shown here in green, is added in such a way that preserves the ability to produce reliable, nationally representative subgroup estimates. That is, the new sample is added to all age and race groups. Thus, the 2015 cohort includes both continuing 2011 cohort cases and new cases sampled in 2015. 
Individuals are included in NHATS and administered a sample person interview no matter where they reside. Those in residential care settings are also administered a facility questionnaire. However, sample persons determined to be living in a nursing home in their initial round in the study are not administered the sample person interview. Only a facility questionnaire is completed. This tutorial was produced by Men Yao Hu, Sarah Patterson, and Vicki Friedman with funding from the National Institute on Aging. This ends the introduction to NHATS design basics. Comments and questions may be sent to nhatsdata at westat.com.